Work continues to brew at the updated Terre Haute Brewing Company. New business ideas are in the works and new beers are on tap. News 10's Melissa Crash has our first look inside the brewery that plays a major part in Wabash Valley history. Take a look inside. Brews are bringing history back to life. But this time around, there's a new look and new beers. Make Tarot Brewing Company a place where people can come in and feel at home and, you know, get the best quality of possible. Business partners Jeff Hawk. This is an original barrel from the 1800s. Mike Rowe. It's got just some great character. And Matt McBride. You want to get some of the grain or whatever. Are making sure this becomes a hot spot for downtown. Right now, the focus is on renovating and finding a place for equipment. Some of the back equipment starting to arrive now. We got a glycol chiller which came in and we're getting ready to get it hooked up. In just a few short weeks, this general area will be filled with 10, 20 barrel tanks. Visitors who come by the brewery will be able to check out how the craft beer is made from all different directions. Look in and actually see the process as it's going on which is awesome because people love to feel apart and I, I know I do. I was that guy at Sun King looking over the wall. An experience that McBride says makes craft beer so popular. Stainless steel copper tanks full of six different beers. We keep fine tuning and changing little, little tiny things and renovate as we go along. Constructing a brewery for the entire Wabash Valley. Beer enthusiasts, like there were wine enthusiasts, you know, a decade ago. It's, it's really changing. While keeping a part of history, brewing. In Terre Haute with photojournalist John Tim. As long as we can create quality. Melissa Crash. People will, they won't be able to stop coming here. News 10. It's looking good. The brewery is set to open in March.